hello guys welcome back to my channel um so yes today we are going to do uh it's a reading for uh yb uh win win um and actually i want to take this opportunity to thank uh the people that voted uh because i did make a, a post a, a poll so you could like choose an option whether you be interested in this reading or not um and i know that probably there's there's people that um that are interested in, in other groups or in in other uh in other units or something uh but you know we were we were discussing in our community um on discord and and we were like mm, you know this would be interesting um to somehow like follow um a sort of like um i don't know when i read the cards yesterday for way B, and I got this skin of cups, you know, and I was like talking about the guys being emotional and how the group for me seems like very water sign kind of base, you know, and I was like, okay, because we do have a water sign that is 10. Then I don't know why I, I after I reviewed the, 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 the reading again, I was like, oh, but we also have Win Win. And Win Win is it, a Scorpio, you know, and I don't know why seeing, like, um, this, this King of Cups and this Devil card, you know, that the Devil card is not representative of the Scorpio energy, but it does represent Capricorn energy, you know, about someone that is ambitious and probably is ambitioning something different, you know, because this person is looking at the future, you know, somehow like we had the Page of Swords before and, and the Page of Swords is looking at the King of Cups, but the King of Cups is looking at the future, you know, and he's looking at his own interest. So I was like, could it be? that that maybe some of them is thinking about you know about their own inter interest and being like you know I have better um like I'm focusing on myself like um and this is not about you know like the actually the someone leaving the group I, I think that it, it shows you how um, even though there's a lot of things that they struggle as a group, there's someone that is is thinking and also is inspiring others to think about what's best for them. You know, so I was like, oh, maybe this could be Win Win, and I haven't read for Win Win for a while. Um, so, so yes, I, I find it very interesting, and, and then I got all these cards that we have here today, so it's going to be an interesting reading. Um... And, and yes, if you are a fan of Win Win and you want to give me your feedback, I would appreciate it very much. Of course, that this is a, with a lot of respect. I do love Win Win. But, you know, a, another thing that I didn't know, you know, yesterday I was like, okay, the number five, you know, I got two, two fives in the spread. And I was like, this number maybe are they five members? And then I believe that someone told me that, because while I was looking for the picture, you know, uh, to to put in 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 the thumbnail of of the video, I was like, I had a few pictures without, wi without wing wing, and then others with wing wing. So, I I don't know what's going on with wing wing, like in the sense of about him may maybe being in in china and, and i don't know about that so i'm curious about him you know so this is a perfect opportunity to dive into his energy a little bit and since he's so mysterious you know i think that it would be interesting to focus a bit on him and his perspective about all this so yes let's start uh we start with the knight of swords page of swords the empress uh, the Chariot in Reverse and Ace of Swords. And then from the Oracle, we got the card of Mars in Aquarius, Rebellion. A lot of swords, guys, here. Except for the two major arcanas, a lot of swords. 
And then we also have a, a oracle that in the picture there's someone pointing with the sword at the same time. And there's also like this air sign energy, this mercurial sign, you know, this, this very sharp attitude of rebellion. So, um, you know, for me, win-win is a mystery. And I think that in here, definitely I sense that He's very intelligent. The first thing that I can say with all the sources here is that we have to acknowledge his intelligence and and how he knows how to navigate this business. And when I saw all the sourcing here, I'm like, oh, definitely he is the one that doesn't hold back when it comes to saying what's on his mind um and actually like like responding very fast to his employees uh his employers uh, demands you know i think that this is a guy that when we start with the knight of swords and the page of swords definitely i think that he is a guy that he he's very quick to respond, you know, and at the same time, I think that he he sees himself as someone that he doesn't back down. He's always on this this pose of I have to defend myself. Knowledge and words are my element. Like I need to be ready. I need to be fast, I need to be intelligent, and <coughs> I need to be, like, very impulsive. Um, I think that probably sometimes he says a few things, you know, and, 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 and maybe sometimes maybe he could regret it because probably, you know, he is very impulsive with this knight of swords uh, but i think that that this is what experience in this business has taught him you know and i think that it's very valid to take this from him you know we have to take his experience i mean from here it's not that i'm talking to to wingwin but i'm i'm sort of like feeling his energy and a bit of his history in these cards you know even though this is a very this is a, this is a, a present day kind of um spread but when we start with the prince of swords the knight of swords only the knight of swords definitely is telling me a bit about where he comes from and he comes from being always ready to battle someone and I think that he has this posture of like, you are not going to take advantage of me. I know my rights. So I, I think that that, that um, this is a guy that is very fast to also observe the situation. Um, and it's, it's very interesting because actually... Um, I haven't had a chance to watch, um, um, you know, documentaries or, or videos or, you know, of Wing Wing expressing himself. Like, for example, when he is with a group, I believe he's one of the quiet ones. I believe that he's the, 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 the one that, that just stands there in the corner and, and let others talk. Maybe I'm mistaken. If I am, you can correct me. But in here, I find it, I, I see um, something very different. I see that that for him, also the law, there's something about him using the law to his benefit. You know, probably he's very well represented legally because it's like, I know my rights. I know what you can and cannot, like, tell me what to do. You know, so he's a guy that he has the knowledge because we also have, you know, the sources, knowledge, communication, uh, papers, conversation. Probably he has everything on record as well. 
So he's a powerful guy because of that. And honestly, also he's a guy that probably he's like, you know, I will not be tamed. <laughs> you know, this is something. Uh, there was a Miley Cyrus song when if you that I, I believe that it's it, it it's I don't know if the song came out like ten or fifteen years ago, but it was a, a, a Miley or a, a Cyrus song that uh, that it was like I can be tamed. I believe it was called like that. I can be tamed. And and I don't know why I'm thinking of win-win energy like this, you know, like saying I can be tamed, not by you, you know. He's selective. It's like maybe uh, someday I will be tamed by not not by you people, not by you, not at all. Um, so he's like, you know, I'm always ready to run somehow, you know. I think that that he's someone that. He also is very is ready to 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 travel somewhere or go somewhere, you know. It's it's like catch me if you can something like this, you know. Like he's always very fast, always on the move. His mind is always working, you know. He's a guy that he's a strategist, you know. And this is what I find very fascinating. Um, I find it very fascinating how he has in his mind, he has all his plans are clear, all his um, his intentions are, are clear. But I think that that you know I'm I'm always I I wonder why this posture of the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords and definitely has to do with something that happened in the past. Because if you notice the posture of these. Um, of, of these two people of the of the court, we have the knight and we have the page, and these two are definitely looking at the past. Are looking at the at the left side. So it's telling me that they come from this experience, that they are in this posture today because of what happened in the past. And this had made them wiser and smarter and more intelligent and also more strategist. And they are like, okay, this is how I, I function here. I'm ready if someone wants to attack me or just... I think that it's not about attack. I think that, that, that it's about, okay, don't, don't come to me to, to ask me flexibility or adaptability, like I will do what I want when I want it. Like, like you know, like like you are not going to use me, you know. And definitely here in the middle we have the Empress. So the Empress is like, I know my value, you know. Like like definitely, um, I don't know about his projects, or is it if it's individual or if it's in the group. But definitely, you know, he's represented by the Empress energy. So probably he's a guy that he tends to grow or expand very well in every business that he's in. Um, and also, does he come from a background where is he, his family, like, I wouldn't say wealthy or rich, but... Uh, I, I believe that he comes from a comfortable family background, you know, but very hardworking people, not in the sense of like, oh, we were, I was born rich and that's it. No, very abundant people, you know, like probably you, I don't know, they started with a business uh, and then that, that business grew and expand and it has different, I don't know, different sides, different... Uh, different, um, like a retail kind of, I don't know. Um, so definitely I see him like, you know, in, in my mind I'm on, on defensive mode, but honestly today he feels like he's very well, you know. I don't know if he had been working on something that had... Uh, given him good money or had paid him very well. 
So he's like, okay, where I am, I am actually feeling very comfortable, like like I'm living well. Um, I'm feeling... I'm feeling appreciated, I'm feeling beautiful, uh, I like my surroundings, there's something about him f thinking about, oh wow, I'm really inspired about this place because I actually feel like very luxurious, you know, or I like uh, the atmosphere of the place, he's like, oh wow, this is very, very nice to, and also he feels at peace, you know, there's, there's this sense of like, okay, like, Maybe it has to do that being, I don't know, being, being part of the Korean in, in, entertainment is very stressful. This is why he has this, this Knight of Swords and this Page of Swords, you know, it's this, this like, okay, I have to be in, on defense mode all the time and I have to be ready and I have to pay attention and I cannot trust anyone. Also, he's, he's uh, this is very Scorpio actually, he obviously doesn't trust people, you know. Um, he's like, he's always somehow ready to get that news. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I think that, that I find it very, very interesting because I feel like he's like, this is very cynical of me, but I always expect something to go wrong with these people. So I'm always ready just in case, like, and this is why he, you know, he's like, I'm thinking about myself and my well-being. And I want to be well, and I want to be able to enjoy life. Like, yes, I want to work, but I also want to, you know, take care of my own needs. Like, you know, I, I think that, honestly, at the same time, he has he has a lot of self-esteem, you know. And, and he's, a, he's a very beautiful man, you know, I, I think that... Um, I, I I know Wing Wing's appearance, I know he's good looking, but there's something about him, I don't know if maybe he's in China, that he is like, I don't know if maybe he's he's one of the, considered one of the most beautiful faces, or um, or, or he, he is like this treasure, this national treasure, I don't, I don't know. Um, so he's like, you know, I stay where I'm wanted, or I stay where I'm cherished, where I'm celebrated, and also when where I can celebrate life. Um, I I think that this is this is his, this is how he's feeling, you know, and this is what he wants to maintain. Actually, he doesn't want to move from this very. Um, this very harmonious and very surrounded by a lot of pleasure, you know, like, oh, I'm enjoying myself. I love it here. He doesn't want to be interrupted of that. And also, I think that he's, he's also like, you know, the, the, the Empress is about also about um, making, you know, progress and, and growing and probably, you know, if it's about money, he definitely had been, like, expanding in that sense. Where in other situations, it's like, okay, I, I put the money, I put my presence, but I didn't get paid or I didn't get to enjoy how hard I worked, you know. And and if you notice, I I don't know. Maybe he compares his training days, or or just being an SM trainee uh, or an SM artist at the beginning of his journey. And he's like, you know, we were always on the run, or we were always like walking, always standing on our feet, always practicing, always like like you know, very tired, but also very like never being able to sit down and relax been always very nervous, been always very on the edge. Um, so maybe someone can be open, but this, you know, this is the life of a trainee. This is very, uh, you have to be athletic, you have to be, no, but it's also about you becoming a bit paranoid and also you becoming a bit, you know, there's too much thoughts, there's too much, uh, like too much 
maybe a language barrier, someone, something that he's like, okay, I have to learn this and I don't want to. And like, they don't get me when I communicate and I don't, I, I'm not interested, you know, and there was a lot of misunderstanding. So he's like, you know, I couldn't relax my body. I couldn't even sit. Like there's something about him having to stand on his feet for long hours and like always, always like walking, always standing, always practicing, always on his two feet. And in here we have the empress in the middle that is like, you know, in here I'm comfortable, I'm seated. Like, like you know, and, and I think that that this is, this is very valid, you know, because if we think about how many hours the, the, the idols train, you know, and how many hours they, they have to be on their feet dancing and, and put in the physical effort, you know. Um, so it must be tough. We don't know the half of it. Um, so I, I don't know about his, his, his work, if he's working on some, some you know, I don't know, he's working like, like in somewhere that he can sit or something like this. But I noticed the, the slow down of his energy. You know, he's not so much on defensive. And then we have the chariot in reverse and the ace of swords. So definitely there's something that he could potentially expand his business, but there's something that has to change you know and and he has to make an advance and he doesn't want to advance or he pretends for this you know uh, this uh, moment of re relaxation or enjoyment to last but there's something that that is not going to go the way he wants to something is going to be, get stuck in the mud you know the chariot is a stuck the chariot is not moving forward it's like a stuck in the mud um and i think that this also with the ace of swords could be you know him finding out something or a news coming to him so i don't know if it is something about him not being able to travel or getting some news that is like oh i was doing this and all of a sudden i'm interrupted or this was cancelled so he will not move on the way he wants to move on so then again, he finishes the reading with the Ace of Swords. That is like, I don't know, guys. I feel like he has the desire to speak up. You know, I think that probably he could feel a bit like frustrated and a bit nervous because there's something that is not going to be able to, to keep moving and progressing and he's going to get in his feelings and he's going to get in his mind and he's like, okay, I'm going to introduce, I'm going to speak up, or I'm going to, uh, inter like, you know, I'm, I'm going to initiate something that it has to do maybe with delivering some papers, sharing some documents, you know, there's something that a news that is going to come up from him, or a statement, uh, or him saying something, I don't know, maybe him, like, uh, you know, talking with, with the fans, like, naturally, and just, like, spilling some tea, or... But I think that that guy wants to say something, definitely. When I saw all these swords, I was like, this guy has... He has information, but he's like, you know, I didn't want to share this, but now that I feel, like, trapped, you know, that, that he somehow is like, okay, I cannot move on where I want to move on, or where I want to have my career towards this so i'm going to speak up you know um and then we have the cards of mars in aquarius rebellion so there's something you know there could be something coming from win win, win that is also somehow clear also his situation i don't know what his situation is maybe if you're a fan you know but there's something about like you know if you want to know, I have the intention to tell, or I have the documents, or I have the evidence, and and in here I feel like he's also dissipating the doubts because it seems like there's a lot of <coughs> a lot of communication, a lot of negotiation. There's a lot of words here in the middle, 
Um, and he's like, okay, for those who want to really see what's going on with me, or they really want to listen to me, or they really want to hear me, I'm going to say a few things. And it's going to be a bit scandalous, yes. Um, honestly, this is not about others. I don't think that this is about him spilling the tea about other members or... No, this is, you know, this is something that you have to take into consideration when it comes to to, to Win-Win. Win-Win is himself. He is in his protagonist mode. He's not like the kind of person that is like, okay, I'm going to drag the others. No, he's like, you know, his, his mentality is his own. It's like if he, if he states an opinion, it's going to be based on how he feels about it or what he thinks about it. Not so much about like, oh, you know, why, what did the others do? So, and, and it's, it's very interesting because um, I have all this source in here. Um, I have all this Aquarius energy in here. And and we know that, that there's a lot of Aquarius in SM. Um, Lucas is an Aquarius, and, and, and I believe that there was, like, uh, a picture uh, that someone took of them hanging out together. So definitely I think that that he has a good communication with Lucas. And I don't know, you know, seeing this Knight of Swords and this Page of Swords in here, that, that yesterday when I got the Page of Swords, I was like, oh, this is Lucas. May I see them like very close, so I don't know if they tend to have com conversations, and I don't know why I feel like, like, I see Win Win like giving an advice to Lucas, you know, um, because actually I see that Win Win has a lot of clarity in his mind. So if you are troubled, or if you are confused, or if you don't know what to do. You can ask Win Win and he will be very straightforward and also very logical and very analytic and very cold. And he will, will be like, okay, this is what you have to do. So, you know, I think that, that in this sense, if he has conversation with Lucas, I see him like guiding Lucas, you know, giving him a different perspective. And honestly, I think that this is a guy that's, that he invites others to also reveal themselves to connect with this rebellious kind of side because we have the Mars the Mars in Aquarius here so definitely there's something about Win Win's energy that he's like you know no one like owns me like I am my own person like I am my own my 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 own company somehow you know I am my own brand so I care about me um and I, and I think that he also is sparks that curiosity that that he's not a typical idol you know i i think that he learned through his experience that you cannot trust anyone by yourself you know and and i think that that he definitely went through a lot of things that people don't know you know that maybe people take for granted you know, or maybe people are like, oh, because he's thinking about himself. No, it's not about being selfish. It's about surviving in this business. And and I and I love it when I see this um, in in Win Win's reading because he's not the only one that thinks like this. It's just that maybe there are others that think about the same way that he does, or have the same mentality but they have the ability to somehow like pretend that they care so much for others and put on that mask of like oh i love everyone and everyone loves me and i love my team and and i and, and i am one of them and i care so much about about the others and i think about the others and in this case you know wing wing is very like you know straightforward like there's no bs in here it's like, yes, I have a plan. I have a strategy. This is how I got here. Uh, this is how 
these events taught me to be and I am here and I'm, I may be cold but this is how this industry works so he's like he has no filter in that sense and I definitely respect that because people sometimes like I, I said the other the other day people sometimes forget that this is a business and and because sometimes the fans are so emotionally invested in an image or in in a concept or in a group uh, or on on just like uh, images you know and and photo and videos and everything they are like oh because they are family because they are friends I don't doubt that there could be some groups that are family but then there are some groups that is just like you know marketing and that they are not that close and and with this it doesn't mean that they hate each other no but this also means that they cannot it's not that they are hanging out with these people because they selected these people to be in their lives they were casted to be in a group or they were casted to work together under the same roof so sometimes people are like oh but they they are family or they are friends but they have no choice this is why when people get all obsessive and it's like oh what does this member think about the other member do does it matter what they think of each other they have to work together anyways it's like think about it do you like all your co-workers or all your the people that you go to university or school with no you don't you don't have a close relationship with all of them but you do have to exist and and somehow like work in the same space you don't have the possibility to be to be like oh i don't like his face i don't like his attitude like i'm leaving like you know no the and also this is a work this is a, a work situation you know so let's stop like romanticizing about this about oh no because you know when i see feelings you know i i always tell you guys when i see feelings and a connection i say it and I say it and we celebrate it and, and I emphasize this. But I also, when I see someone being a strategist, I also see their pain and their, their disappointment. And why? And where? Wh what was it? When, when was the moment that this person became so cold and so detached and so analytical? Because there was betrayal in the past because they 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 learned the hard way that they cannot trust anyone so i think that we should also validate that an idol goes through these things and that it's not like oh we are a huge family and we're best friends forever no there are some nasty interactions and i'm not saying about about members but sometimes the ceos the higher-ups they 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 just make them go through very tough uh, situations and it affects the idols mentally so you have to somehow like be ready to confront this to keep working so you know let's also embrace their transparency and their energy because they are trying to be professional in a, sometimes it's a very cruel kind of like environment so yes this that's all i have to say so you know you believe what you want you take your own conclusions but i want i want you to go deeper always and not take one side of the story always look at the whole picture always question things you know why is this happening why you know but but not in an obsessive way because actually there are things that sometimes they do not have a, a a one specific answer because we are talking about humans here we're talking about human behavior we're talking about people we're talking about ambition ambition we're talking about money being involved in here so definitely the things sometimes 
uh, get crazy, you know. And and I just want you, I just want to bring awareness to this sort of like uh, readings or or this like sometimes when we exchange opinions and perceptions, uh, because maybe in this way we can see, you know, and understand the person behind the idol a bit better instead of judging and taking sides. So yes, that's that's all my rant. Sorry it took it took too long. Uh thank you guys for being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.